All right, I'm going to make a little video here on uh, taking out our valves and uh, springs and everything. Uh, what I've done is I, I took and made a little stand here out of a two by four and stuff. And what you want to do is you want to set your cylinder jugs over the top so the two by four is running this way. So what you want to do is you want to line it up so your valves are sitting right on top of the two before and just slide it down there gently. I mean, now this right here will work if you're doing just a, you know, 300 hour tear down inspection, cleaning, whatever, uh, or sending off, having parts are redone. Uh, not 100% sure yet if we're going to have to have new cylinders or not, but taking these here apart just to, uh, you know, send out and get cleaned, uh, you know, just to be safe uh, in case if we do keep these. Uh, but uh, anyway, what I do is I take a rag and I made this little tool right here. And uh, all this is, it was just a flat piece of uh, one eighth steel. Uh, and I took and cut two strips, eight inches long, three quarters wide, uh, put it in my vise and just kind of bent these, you know, little whoop de doos here on it. Uh, but uh, take a uh, five, six inch extension, drill a half inch hole in the end of this, all right? And what you wanna do is you wanna take and, uh, let me turn this around right here so we can see a little better. Uh, take it, stick it down in here and just slide the extension right on through into here, like so, all right? And what this is gonna do is it's gonna push down on your uh, valves right here on the, uh, lifter spring. Uh, what I do is I take a rag and just kind of keep this sharp edge of my tool right here from buggering up the top of the hickey here and then you'll take and you'll hold down pressure on this left side and then you'll push down with your tool until you hear it pop just like that. So when you hear it pop it's you know it's it's good to go and uh you can see it pushing down all right let's see if we can get this around here and try to keep us in frame right there once you get that broke loose uh sometimes if it don't break loose what you can do is take a socket like a just 13 16 take a rag and make sure it's on your block of wood set a rag over it right here and put this on there and just take a hammer and you know one or two little hits little taps should break the ring loose from them snap rings inside of here but there's a split ring split snap ring down here uh so what you do is you push this down your tool and take you some tweezers what i found best and you'll just reach in here and grab out your little uh split rings and uh you know just pop them out sit them down uh, and come up gently slow so that way there it'll you know come right on out these haven't been out in probably man they ain't no telling how many years many 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 years uh but uh anyways you know they some of them are stuck uh but uh i just you know pulling them out wiping them off good here uh with a rag and uh you know and then uh Pull out my next one right here. Uh, let's see here. We'll wipe that off a little bit. Stick it in here. All right. And, uh, and then you can take your tweezers and uh, and you can, it's kind of hard to get a hold of it, but take your tweezers, go right down in here and pull out the rest of this right here. Uh, I'm not a, uh, can't remember my mind or blank, but anyway, uh, you pull all of this right here out, clean it good. Uh, if you're just doing maintenance on the engine, uh, you know, clean everything very good and put it all back in. And uh, then uh, to, to take out your lifter or valve down in here, be very, very careful 
stick your arm up in the cylinder and you'll push in up here on the top and you don't want to scratch the cylinder wall just gently slide it out trying to keep it off your cylinder and uh, and then uh, you know you'll get it all out and uh, you know that's about all they are to it but uh, it's kind of tricky if you don't have that little this little wishbone looking tool uh, to uh, you know to pop them loose or whatever but uh, but that's about it and then you just move on to the next side do the same thing on the next side uh, like I said you know sometimes they'll get stuck uh, the ring the lock ring will get stuck up inside of this top uh, top ring right here uh, but anyway that's uh, how it's done and just pull this out and uh, move on to the next one and same thing uh, goes for that but anyway just thought I'd share that and uh, you know be sure to give the video a thumbs up and a like subscribe and all that and uh, we'll see you see you soon